Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in April 2021, South Korean unveiled the prototype of its first indigenously developed fighter jet KAI KF-21 formerly known as KF-X. As per the latest report, the Korean 4.5th generation fighter jet has taken its first flight almost six and a half years after its development kicked off. South Korea and Indonesia had agreed in 2014 to jointly develop the fighter jet in a project worth $6.3 billion with Indonesia paying 20% of the cost. South Korea first envisioned the jet development project in November 2000. It took nearly 20 plus years after the project was announced to build its prototype. With this, South Korea has joined elite group of countries that have domestically developed supersonic fighter jet. It is designed to be cheaper, less stealthy alternative to USA F-35 and will cost half as much to operate as the F-35. This is considered as an attempt by South Korea to become self-reliant in fighter jet development, which heavily relies on US-built fighter jets. It currently operates huge fleet of US F-4 Phantom II, F-5 Tiger II, F-15E Strike Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-35 Lightning II. South Korea is expecting to have at least 40 of the new jet combats ready by 2028 and 120 by 2032. From 2026 to 2028 onwards, KIA plans to manufacture the initial units of KF-21 Block 1. Talking about its feature, the KF-21 is a twin-engine, 4.5th generation multi-role fighter aircraft. South Korea has sought technical assistance from Saab, Boeing and Lockheed Martin for the production of KFX. The fighter jet is designed to have a stealth capabilities exceeding both Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon but less than the Lockheed Martin's F-35 Lightning II. This is the reason why it is not considered to be a true fifth generation fighter. It is also expected to be superior to F-16 Fighting Falcon with 50% greater combat range, 34% longer airframe lifespan and better avionics, active electronically scanned array AESC radar and more effective electronic warfare and data link capabilities. KF-21 has a length of 16.9 meters, wingspan of 11.2 meters, height of 4.7 meters and wing area of 501 square feet. The empty weight of the fighter jet is 11,800 kilograms and gross weight of 17,200 kilograms. The maximum takeoff weight is 25,400 kilograms. The fighter jet is powered by two GE F414 afterburning turbofan engine with a dry thrust of 57.8 kN and 97.9 kN with afterburner. The fighter has a maximum speed of Mach 1.81. The fighter jet will have an AAC radar developed by Hanwha Systems and with assistance from Israel's Elbit system. The radar is expected to match the performance of F-35. KF-21 is capable of carrying up to 7.7 .7 tons of weapons and fuel under its wing and fuselage. The current variant of KF-21 does not feature an internal weapons bay, but future variants could have. South Korea is purchasing air to missile for its first KF-21 batch from European companies MBDA and BGT. The KF-21 Block 1 will not have internal weapons carriage, which is planned for the subsequent versions. The initial version will also lack air-to-ground striking capability since the homegrown long-range air-to-ground missile is to be developed by mid of 2020s. The fighter jet will have 10 hard points, 6 under the wing, 4 under fuselage. In air-to-air -air missiles category, it can carry MBDS Meteor AIM-120, AMRAM, short-range infrared homing air to missile IRIS-T, AIM-9 Sidewinder. In air-to-ground category, it can carry Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile. Overall, it's going to be a decent 4.5th generation fighter aircraft which is going to have high maneuverability, advanced weapons for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missions, features to reduce radar cross-section with integration of infrared sensors. This was today's update. 
Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.